come forward. This is Carol. Carol was diagnosed with osteopenia at 43. She had scoliosis. With scoliosis, if she were to do any kind of lifting where she bends at the hip, result in compression of the vertebrae, the weight is hitting her at a right angle. So when it comes at a right angle, it doesn't compress the vertebrae. And actually when she goes back further, the, the vertebrae articulate apart and actually there's more distance. So she's getting strength training, she's getting range of motion, and she will tell you in just one second, one more rep, breathe. I want you to hold statically, 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 head up, breathing, breathing, coming out slow, coming out slow. We're going to do one more, Carol. Head remain up, going slowly now. Hold for four, three, two, coming out slowly. Out and rest. Carol, how is your osteopenia? The um, osteopenia measurements have shown that I've actually developed bone density rather than continuing to lose it. Um, I'm 69 now and I have no further loss of bone density and in fact much of it has been replaced, repaired, restored. Um, but the good news for me is for years I have lived with sciatica pain that was the result of the scoliosis and I am free of it. I can get in my car and drive across the country and have no sciatica pain. This workout has um, restored years to my career and years to my quality of life and I really appreciate it. Thank you. And it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. <laughs> well, thank you for that, too. Yeah.